previously on Balls. James, how are you doing? You well? How's it going there in Sri Lanka? How's it going? Yeah, going well, thanks. Uh, looking forward to, to ending off the tour, hopefully on a high. Yeah, it's it's got the tour has begun into I suppose two two halves. I mean, the, the, the obviously the one day stuff wasn't wasn't that good, and the and the T twenties have been brilliant. Yeah, obviously we've got a bit of a a wake up call in the one day series. I mean, it's always been tough coming to Sri Lanka and you know doing well here, but it's nice to know that we've competed pretty well in 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 the T twenties, and uh, yeah, it'll be nice to to walk away with a three 0 whitewash. No, it certainly would. And just explain to the public why is it's. I mean, obviously we understand that we've been to the subcontinent a few times. We understand why it's so difficult to win there. But I mean, obviously the you know, general public don't understand why it's so hard to win there. Just explain exactly why it is that difficult to win in Sri Lanka. Yeah, I guess it's just the conditions are so much different to to back home. Um, and you know they've got a quality quality batting lineup, especially in the one day in test format. Um, you know, Sangakara, Jai Wardner, Dilshan, these guys have have uh, done exceptionally well, especially in their home conditions over a number of years. And, uh, you know, if you don't get them out, they punish you from the word go. So it's been a bit tough. Um, yeah, and, and just, I guess, the, the field are maybe slightly bigger. Um, yeah, I guess the conditions is, is always going to be a tough one. And barring the conditions, I mean, the heat, <laughs> I mean, the heat factor is also a huge thing that one needs to 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 go with, and uh, yeah, like it's uh, it's been a tough one. I mean, there's no lying about it. We were we outplayed in the wonders, and uh, I think we can take a lot of learning out of it. But it's nice to know that we've come back strong and shown a lot of character, you know, out of the T20s. Yeah, oh, you certainly have, shown, and the team certainly has shown character in this in this T20 um, competition. I don't think many people gave you guys much of a chance to beat them. Um, but um, but you've played um, superbly well. I mean, you, a couple of changes in the side, but um, it looks like those wickets are pretty tricky to bat on, and, and you guys are giving yourselves a chance up front. Yeah, no, we've we've done reasonably well so far. So I mean, if you look at the the wicket we're playing on now, yeah, in Ambin Tota, it's probably a little bit more suited to our bowlers. Um, you know, it doesn't really turn that much, and there's a little bit more bounce and pace in the wicket, so it probably suits us better. And I guess that's why we've we've uh, done so good so well here. And uh, I think just in terms of that first game, I mean, we we didn't expect to win that game. I mean, if you're looking at scoring under 15 yeah. in a T20 game, nine times out of ten you're going to lose it. And it's just the uh, the way we control that execution and the character we've shown within that that bowling in is was was superb. You know, that never give up attitude. Uh, we speak a lot about the resilience of of the coaches, and, and that shown. Uh, tenfold in in that bowling innings. Yeah, I thought you guys have been superb, and then the fielding was 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 also magnificent. But um, look, going obviously more personal personal towards you. I'm mean, obviously after that horrific injury you got in in Australia. You did you snapped your Achilles? Am I right in saying that? Yeah, completely. Unfortunately, but yeah, it's been a it's been a bumpy road. I mean, it's seven months out of the game. Um, you can go at times into a bit of a depression. You know, you, <laughs> yeah. not knowing where you're gonna. Whether you're coming or going, uh, but I think I've had a good support structure around me in that seven months, and you know, just a great medical staff to to take care of me, and and obviously being entrusted with with getting picked straight away was was a big boost in my in my corner, um, you know, just getting picked out of nowhere for for Champions Trophy, and and having that trust within within the management staff was was good for me, and I guess it was just about finding my feet. I mean, after. It was great to start off the way I did against Holland, and then you know just sort of yeah. average performances, and now to pick it up again, and, and and hopefully I can continue with 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 the good form. I thought after seven months off, JP being at home quite a bit, there might have been a little JP along the way, but um, it didn't didn't quite happen that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. But um, look, I'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fun, it's fun to practice. Eh? <laughs> um, and, and obviously your yeah. form. I mean, your form is as, as as I mean, it's picked up. I mean, you've been one of the one of the standout batsmen on this trip. I mean, I'm obviously going to go with your batting first. That is what you, yeah. what you know, your number one uh, part of the game is your batting. And 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 you really have. I mean, I know you got that that ninety odd in the in the one wonder. And and you've been probably our most consistent batsman on this tour. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I guess the difference is or the opportunity was there to to bat in the top order. You know, given the. The position at number three, uh, you know, you give 
you get more of a chance to sort of get yourself in, especially in the one-day mm. format. And uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed batting higher up the order from a one-day perspective, and it's great to get given the opportunity. And uh, yeah, hopefully, long, hopefully it will be one that I'll be around for for a long time. Yeah, I think I think it suits you great at three. I, I like to see you at batting at three. I think your technique suits it. You've got a good technique, and I'd I'd, I'd like to see give you a long run at, at number three in one day, especially in the one day one day format of the game. But what I'd really like to speak about, because close to my heart, is is your bowling. I mean, you, you, it's the ball's coming up beautifully. I've been watching quite a bit of you bowl, and um, and and the shape is yeah. magnificent, man. Yeah. Look, I've been I've been putting a lot of hard work into it. Uh, I know that I can definitely offer a job for the team from a from a bowling perspective, and it's nice it's nice to get entrusted with it. And I, and I think what's helped a lot now also is that we've got a bowling specialist in within the setup now in Claude Anderson, and you know we can talk to him and yeah. and entrust our our plan and structures with him within the game with him and, and share what he thinks and so on. And it's probably never happened before within the setup. No, and it's it nice to have that that person you can talk to. You know, you've always had a batting consultant, a bowling consultant. But now to be specific in terms of spinners, I mean, even you can see Robbie, Robbie and Emmy and Pangi, they were also enjoying the fact that you have someone to, to talk to. So I think that has made a, made a big difference. And also just bowling more often in the game. Uh, get given the opportunity to bowl 10 overs in a game, it's always going to be good for, for my confidence. And uh, obviously within T20 format as well, you know, bowling four overs regularly, it's, it's going to be good for from a confidence point of view. No, I mean, you've you pretty much out bowled. I mean, I'm, I'm no disrespect to our other spinners. I mean, Robbie's done very well over the last 12 months, and Pangy's had a great start, and and even Imo coming back has bowled nicely. But you've kind of yeah. outperformed all our spin bowlers, and it's it's, it's really been great. It's been great to watch. I know you've had quite quite a few left handers, but I mean, you've you've bowled equally well to the right handers. Yeah. And uh, it's yeah, just, it's just, it's just like I said, I mean, just just discussing those plans and 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 structures in place with with Claude and and knowing that you know you you're not there to only take wickets, you're there to to concede not to concede runs. No. Um, so it's about containing those runs and also trying to pick up wickets. So having the balance of the two, and I think in the past where where maybe I've come on and I've only come on to try and take a wicket, and if it doesn't happen, you know, I've been taken off. So now that you're entrusted with the fact that oh. you're going to bowl a few overs for the team. You given you get given a chance to sort of find your rhythm. I mean, you know, as a spinner yourself, you know, once you get into a rhythm, it's, you don't really want to stop bowling. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, just entrusted with that number of overs now within the game is is is, is a great feeling. JP, one of the uh, one of the the things that came out of our chat was Jacques Cullis last week. Um, were the greatest mm. cricketer that uh, that lived uh, in our Steve minds. Moore? Um, said um, Steve well, War said it? that as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Steve yeah. War said the other day. I don't think too many will uh, will debate that. Um, and Harrow asked him. He said, "So, uh, yeah. who do you see as your natural successor?" You were talking in all forms of the game, right, Harrow? I was talking all forms. Yes. All forms, not just for ODIs. Mm. And he immediately, without hesitation, mentioned you. So that's a nice accolade. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Look, to come from a king, that's, that's something special. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully hopefully I can uh, fulfill that the thing you said there. There's no, there's no pressure now, JP. All you need to do now is get 10,000 runs in both forms and 300 wickets in both forms, and you'll be right there. Yeah, give me a chance. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Jace has got now. 10,000 in both, 300 wickets in both, and 100 catches in both forms. So. Yeah. Not not too much, not too much to to live up to, but but I think he's right in a way. I think that uh, you know yeah. you could offer it, you know, ten, fifteen overs, maybe even more if it's spinning in in a test match, and and, and obviously your batting goes goes without saying. So yeah. J- J- JP would be, actually get there, and yeah. Carlos would still be playing. He'd still be playing. Yeah, <laughs> J- Carlos might play with JP's son. <laughs> and 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 obviously looking forward, we've got the, obviously got the twenty twenty World Cup next year. It is next year, isn't it? Yeah, it is next year. And um, and uh, obviously yeah, this side next year April. So. Yeah, this side obviously. I mean, on paper, this side actually looks very strong. I mean, I like I like the fact that brought in brought in Davy Visa to come in there to he's bowled beautifully since he's been in the side and he can smack it out the ground. And obviously, young Quinton mm-hmm. de Kock, they must give him yeah. a bit of a bit of a run because he is very talented. It's, the side looks really good. Mm. Yeah, and I think it's just about finding that right balance. And and it's right in saying certain guys need to be given a, a good run to. Just to find the feet. I mean, you know, as playing international cricket, the the atmosphere and the pressure that comes with it, mm. it's huge. And you need to 
find your feet within that setup. And it's great to see that they're giving him a good run and, and certain guys have come in now. And, and it's probably it's probably a really good balance. But I think in, even though we've, we've we've done well on this trip with the, with the playing eleven, I think the guys that are on this tour as well, I mean, any one of the guys can fill in for anybody. And, yeah. and I think the strength of the squad is going to be key going into a major tournament like a World Cup. So, yeah, hopefully, I mean, this beating Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka, the number one T20 team at the moment, it's, it's going to be a huge confidence booster, especially from a team perspective, going into, going into the World Cup next year. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks, but I Listen, I'm, I know I'm seeing you um, at the end of the month uh, for Fuff's Bachelors. We're, uh, we're, we're off to, to, to Mozambique, for, Mozambique <laughs> yeah, for three days. To. I think maybe get uh, just have a chill at home for the next three weeks and get your liver ready. So then that might, it might get a little bit messy. <laughs> okay, cool. A few R and R's, definitely. A few, uh, what do they call rum, rum and raspberry? Yeah, are going to go down beautifully, and um, I look forward to seeing you <laughs> I've there. I've heard about it. I've heard about yeah, it. Is, it is it is good fun. I can I can promise. They pour you three quarters rum and a quarter raspberry, so you talk in braille eventually. Um, in, in in that place, but you can't get up, you can't get in too much trouble <laughs> cool. there. There's not much to do to, in trouble wise, so we should be all right. And um, and good luck today. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Yeah, good luck. I hope you guys beat them three 0 A little whitewash there would be would be would be lovely. And send my regards to to Fuff and and the rest of the boys and 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 good luck. All right, cool. Thanks for the call. Thanks, sir. Thanks, JP. Cheers, bud. Cheers, sir. All right. Bye. Cheers, sir. Cheers, sir. Bye. Radio. Weekdays from three p.m. to six p.m. Central African time. Radio like you've never seen it before. Balls.co.za.